Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a T-49, it's an American Tier 9 light tank and it's on the northeast spawn of Glacier and it's being driven by the base man from hell. Yes, it's that player again, the one, the same one who keeps sending in this really good replays and he's got a doozy for us today in the T-49. Well, earlier we saw how Ewan, uh, or Salty Jedi I should say, deal, dealt with a T-49 that attacked him. Let's see how the base map from hell gets on with his T-49. Well, the T-49 comes with two guns, a 90mm and a 152mm derp gun. And that's the one that most people fear, because it's an extremely effective way of wiping out the enemy almost one shot. Okay, this looks to me to be the 90mm. Oh, the enemy went in there very, very quickly. And there's a mine metal hands of wagon there. He's after him. Oh, gets around into him. And, yep, rams him. Takes some hit points off him. Another hit. Collected 992 hit points of damage, finishes off that uh, into the engine bay, or is it? No, it's the front of the tank actually. Alongside him and finishes him off. He must have damaged his gun uh, or his gunner or something like that because that uh, panzer wagon wasn't actually uh, responding towards the end. Okay, he's going to try and get around into that 1-4. 282 hit points. And the 1-4 can't respond at the moment. He below the ridge line, fires around in, gets four, no, 233, but he's also getting damaged by spotting. Oh, another round, 264, he's rocking up and then whack, fires around in, and he's just tracked him this time, and he's helpless, that one four, and he's out the game. Lost 17 hit points on that last strike, but that was enough to end it. Now he's gonna have to get out of the way of the T100 LT, because he won't be able to get by unless he did. Now we've got another customer, a Conqueror, but he's gone hull down, and that's a wise decision. If he stayed where he was, he was likely to get shot. Exactly the same with the Wizzy 11114. Uh, nope, we've lost sight of him now. Okay, there is the Conqueror. Very hull down, you see. Very difficult to shoot. Oh my god, what a shot! At that distance! 177 hit points, he got it right into the top of the turret, stripped the turret off, uh, well stripped the top of the turret off, and killed everybody inside, so brilliant shot there, very narrow target, but his accuracy was an undeniable there. Okay, now there should be some enemies out there, there is a Wizzy 132, 259, but we took a shot for 288, so we're going to have to pull back a bit. There's the Wizzy 132, fires another round in. 211 this time. Now that 132 is not going to repeat it now because he's low on hit points and he's out of the game. Now there's a scope of T50 off the way, but he's hiding behind a rock. Can you see him? No, not really. Very difficult. Yeah, we can just get him. Very long range shot. Fires around in. Don't know if that did any damage. He's gone unsighted. Oh, there's a weapon trigger there. Alf Panzer there's two tanks hiding behind that rock. The Skoda and the Waffen Traeger. I tracks the Waffen Traeger. Fires another round in. I think he hit the track again. He's got 426 hit points of uh, damage assistance there. So he definitely helped. And yeah, the Waffen Traeger's almost out. He's gone. He was pinged. He was killed by the Batchat 25 ton. So the enemy have now lost seven eight tanks uh they're down to seven and they're being confined really now into the corner of the map and i think everybody's going to try and make their way over and attack them oh we just lost the teammate to the t10 he's firing into that t30 who's shooting in the opposite direction he's going to track him he does Fires around in, gets a big hit. 99, well, 242 of the hit points, but 997 from tracking him. Fires around in there, finishes him off. Long range shot. He's now up to 3.4k damage. And the game's only been going for less than five minutes. Four and a half minutes. 
Now, he's got a badger behind that uh, wreck. Can he get behind him? Well, he's lost his ammo rack, so he's going to have to repair that. Otherwise, his reload's going to be terrible. He needs to get behind the badger, or at least lock onto his side, so that he cannot be hurt. The badger is going to be hit by his own teammates who are approaching, and so long as he keeps him there, keeps plugging his side, and finishes off the badger, 143 foot points, and that's his fifth kill. Can he get a top gun? Well, there's a bat chat, 155-55 up there. Oh, and he's just been taken out by the E50M. And that's the end of the battle. Denied the top gun by his own team. That's so unfortunate. Would have been nice if they could have given it to him. But they didn't. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for the base man from hell in the T49. He also got a spotter badge, would you believe it? He was spotting so much of the enemy uh, from his position up on the uh, the ice heights uh, near the carrier. Um, that he actually enabled uh, his team to do at least a thousand hit points of damage. He got a bruiser medal for doing at least five critical hits. He got six. He got he got a duelist badge because he took down two enemy tanks that did damage to him during the battle. I think that counts as the uh, Wizzy 132 and the 14. Um, and he also got a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He managed to get five in the end just short of getting the top gun he got a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his vehicle but another nice thing is he managed to get an orlix medal that means he took out two enemy tanks uh, or tanks destroyers with a light tank in the battle and they had to be at least one tier higher than them and of course he did take out that bulldog uh, uh was rather the bulldog the badger rather uh, and of course the uh, uh wissy 11114 and they were both one tier higher than him so he also managed to get the tanker sniper and that's the amazing thing because he was taking out enemy at very long range with very narrow targets and very narrow aim points so he really showed off his skills and marksmanship with that uh, uh, t49 so let's have a look at team scores see where he did where he came well he's got the highest damage uh, on this one uh, 500 uh, 5049 hit points altogether he didn't get the uh, high caliber though for some reason uh, maybe it wasn't 20% of the enemy hit points, or maybe there was some damage, team damage. Um, he did manage to get five kills, which puts him top of the list there. Just one short of getting that top gun. And he did get the highest base XP, 1,413. The bat chap managed to get 1,155. Um, and uh, he managed to get the standard B, managed to get two kills and 822. Um, so pretty good. Let's have a look at the uh, detail report. He fired 28 rounds, got 26 direct hits. That's tremendous accuracy, that is. 22 penetrations. A few of them did bounce or hit the armor, uh, those shots on the T30. He did damage of 5,049 hit points, of which 2,372 were at more than 300 meters. He did receive two hits. Both of them were penetrations. One was from the 1-4, the other was from the 1-3-2. He spotted five enemy vehicles, he damaged eight of the enemy, killed five of them, and he did damage assistance of 2,660 hit points. A lot of that was from the T-30 as well, um, as well as those tanks, the Wizzy 1-4, um, and I think also the uh, Conqueror, uh, because uh, while he was spotting them there, he was allowing the RT to plug them full of holes. So, on the premium account, he earned 71,664 credits, and this is a non-premium vehicle earning that much. Normally you'd expect a premium vehicle to earn that much, but uh, this was a non-premium tier nine light, would you believe it? 71,664 credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, and he used standard ammo throughout the battle, didn't have to dip into his premium ammo at all. He ended up with 49,885 credits, a really good score to take away. He received 2,120 XP and there was no multipliers, unfortunately, so that's all he took away. But what he did have was a really, really good game. And I'm pleased that he shared this one with me because it shows how the T-49, even with the standard gun, the 90mm, can still be an absolute terror for the enemy. Uh, it's got really good uh, capabilities. So uh, thanks very much for sending this one in. Um, and if you enjoyed it, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.